Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We're jumping in again. I don't know why I've opened up the randomizer early. It's because I'm stupid, but let's randomize and see who we get. We get Lilith. Oh, I haven't played Lilith in quite some time, so kind of a fun one. Let's uh, grab little old Lilith here. She can be a bit of a pain, but I don't mind her too much on modded because there's a few modded familiars that can make her quite intriguing. Oh, this is a hard room. Do you know what? This is a hard enough room to make me want to do this. Um, but yeah, today I'm I'm gonna admit we're doing a very, very chill recording because, as you might remember, I think I mentioned it in the last episode or the one before that. Oh my god, this is kind of a hard room too. This is a really bad room for Incubus. Like I literally can't hit these heckin' things. Um, this is such a pain in the ass. Oh my god, I'm having such a hard time hitting. There you go. Um. But you might remember in the last episode, I did say that I had my booster jab. And I never normally have side effects from my, uh, like, from my vaccines and stuff. Uh, but this one has heckin' hecked me up. And it's New Year's Eve. And I've got people coming over tonight to drink heavily. So I really hope I feel better real soon. Because it's going to really suck if I don't. Uh, I have, dr oh my god. I have drugged up some more. I really hate the placement of these things. This is the worst character ever for this. Oh my god, I can't even do the dash. <laughs> this is horrible. Why does this exist? Oh my god, that was awful. Um, <laughs> Already complaining so much. Ooh, a little bit of piercing could be nice. Ah, of course it's an active item. At least pop it once. It's actually a pretty good active item, but I don't think it's one that we can realistically take. Um... But yeah, so I'm having kind of a kind of a hard time right now. I've got a pretty awful headache, and it's like it's like almost 5 p.m. and people are meant to be coming over at 7 p.m. So I really don't have too much time to get better. Uh, I really don't have too much time to uh, get to the point where um, I can drink heavily. I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to too much tonight. I'll definitely partake, but I don't know if it's going to be as much as I would normally go for. Um, but yeah, so I just thought, you know what? Got a bit of a headache, but what what's a better cure than just a little bit of Isaac? Just a little bit of Isaac. Okay, so this is a room that scares me a bit. One thing I've noticed, um, Ipecaca devs, if you're watching, the new champions, the, the Shadow Clone dude, the guys that are now this faint blue, the clones still produce black particles rather than blue particles, which is no longer the colour of them, so... Kind of doesn't make sense. Ooh, nice chest. We're getting some real awful rooms here, I will say. It's actually kind of annoying. But we'll try our best. Uh, I think we can maybe, yes, actually stay out the way of that guy and manage to hit him. Same with this dude, to be honest. Okay, good. Got a lot of bombs there, too. Should make our boss a bit easier. But yeah, it's just, it's just going to be a nice, a nice chill episode. I don't do these too often. I'm, I'm normally a, a very... I wouldn't say very, but I'm normally a reasonably high energy person. Um, I don't know if you can tell in the sort of inflection of my voice that I'm feeling a bit under the weather. I don't know if it's coming across, but it's it's a little rough. I took some ibuprofen like an hour ago now, maybe nah, probably probably less than that, probably like 30 to 45 minutes ago. So that should be kicking in any time now. So hopefully, midway through this episode, I should be feeling a little bit better. But a little bit of HP, nice. And um, well, yeah, we'll just kind of see how it goes. We'll just see how we end up feeling um, and just kind of have a little bit of a chit chat, a nice chill, relaxing Isaac episode I think is uh, is is the cure that I need today. Um, and just seeing some of these new rooms from all these room mods I've got recently, I'm excited to see them. I'm really glad that um, there's so many room mods at the minute. I do wish one thing that, that I, I would like to see more in the modding community, which is not, this isn't a request by any means, it's just something that um, would be nice to see. Uh, it'd be nice to see some more, like, bespoke item packs. Like, there's obviously things like Ipecac and Repentance Plus and stuff, but they, they're not really, off. Oh, they're not really item packs as such, because they, um, what we got here? Sometimes shoot slippery tears, enemies leave friendly poop creep when you hit them. Ooh, that sounds kind of interesting. Um, ooh, we got a little dude in their head, that's great. This, this better work with, um, with, oh my god, this room's horrible. It's better work with, with Incubus, otherwise I'll be very upset. I don't think it works with Incubus. Oh, no, no, it does, it does, it does. This is a horrible room. 
This is such an evil room. Okay, we got like a... Oh, wait, okay. So that, that enemy got kind of like tainted with it. Oh, no way. And we get the stat upgrade when we're standing over the creep as well. That's pretty incredible. Considering the creep lasts for a long amount of time, I'm liking this. I, I gotta say, I'm liking this. This is pretty cool. Okay, the creep doesn't affect you, clearly. God damn, we're on pretty low HP though here, which is a little bit, a little bit touch and go. But this should be pretty good overall. Um, do you know what? We have a lot of bombs. I do think we should go for this. It's only going to take us two to get to the Tinted Rock. Ah, oh, that was utterly, utterly gross. How could you do this to me, game? But yeah, like, it'd be nice to see a few... Oh, what? Okay, so... I'm, um... I'm definitely seeing some new room types. I am, um... um I, uh, I don't really know what to think of them. This is kind of a bit much. <laughs> I suppose it's not been too bad so far, but... For a large room, this is a little, little crazy. Um, I don't really see the theming, I suppose, is kind of my... I wouldn't say issue with it, but kind of the thing that I'm noticing, like, is Dross very explosive heavy? I feel like it's not. That's a super cool effect, though. This is going to be really hard to not get hit by these explosions, I think, unless we kill him, like, up here. Okay, there you go. We got him. Okay. <sighs> but yeah, like, do you know how, like, um, is it Prian, I think his name is, who makes the, uh, the collection collections? Uh, like, the sewage collection, like, with this poop items from and stuff now. Um, there's not really that many of them, sort of, of those sort of ones, where it's like, just some items and that's it. Which is a shame, really. Ooh, it's poop v poop this time. Okay, so, I don't know which bit poop slick is my poop slick at the minute, so some of it's really slippery and some of it's not. Slightly confusing, I'll admit. That was the worst bomb I've ever placed, but somehow, it paid off. Okay. We're doing okay somehow. I am going to check our devil deal. I doubt this is going to be super good for us. Do you know what? I'm going to take it. I know. I know that it's not very good. I'll take stem cell as well, actually. I know that that's not great, but death list is one of those items. I feel like it can pay off a lot if you play to its strengths, which I admit with Incubus isn't very easy to do. Let's just hope for the best, shall we? Okay, this is going to be a little tricky, actually. Uh, actually, th I think this room is going to be genuinely impossible, yeah. Had a feeling. Had a feeling. Okay. So, yeah, some rooms are going to be, like, rooms like this are just, like, it can't be done. <laughs> There's too many enemies about. Oh, my God. I'm getting so close to getting hit here constantly. Please, please, no. I think we're going to die. I think I made a huge mistake and everything that I've known and loved will perish. Um, I genuinely just think that there's a lot of new rooms that are way too hard. I'm coming across a lot of very difficult rooms here and getting hit a lot. Um, and that's not a bad thing. I suppose the alt path is meant to be harder and this is a garbage character for garbage people. Um, so, Possum's Ear, one heart convert. Uh, ooh, that's kind of interesting, but it is an active strawberry milk. Okay. Strawberry milk's going to be pretty interesting. We've got a tap fire, but we get double damage for doing so. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay, so unfortunately, this floor is just impossible to use Death List on. Genuinely impossible. Oh, my God. That's a dime. Thank you. Oh, please chill out, game, for just like a burger flipping minute. Holy hell. Okay, we're doing good damage here, though. And we did get Death's List. <laughs> you're funny, aren't you, game? You think you're funny. Right, we need this pretty desperately. You know, I'll buy that as well. Ooh, good, a troll bomb. It's what I've always wanted. But yeah, it'd be nice to see what you guys are doing for the, uh, for the new year. I know for a lot of you, well... That, that, I, I almost said the stupidest sentence of all time. I was about to say, I know for a lot of you, it's probably already passed. It's passed for everyone. What am I saying? 
how many people out there are having New Year's a week after? I suppose people that have had like COVID in their family maybe want to celebrate it after the fact, but you, you might be having a celebration, you're not having New Year's after the fact. That would just be weird. Um, yeah. <laughs> Forget everything I just said. Okay, we might not die now. I, I'm still not super confident, I've got to admit. That was a terrible bomb placement, man. I don't know why I even tried that. Okay, we got him, we got him. And there's a heart as well, beautiful. Whip cream. Okay, okay, okay. We've actually got some shot speed here, so this is a pretty significant damage up. And we're back to the easier floors now anyways, so... I suppose that's going to be part of the risk we take. Dross is always a harder floor anyways. We've got the new rooms on Dross, which are going to be even harder. We've got this whole mix-up right now. This is just a gross, gross room. Oh my god, this is going to be... I am, I am going to try my best to get Death's List, because... Just, just because Death's List can give, give us stats and soul heart, stuff like that, I think it's going to be kind of necessary, at least early on, for us to play Death's List to the best of our ability. Because there you go. There's a soul heart. It's, it's what we need. I'm loving my little, uh, my little turdy boy sitting on top of my head here. He's, he's just the most brilliant little fella you've ever seen in your life. Okay, and now we got to go for the mushroom. Okay, good. They're popping up their heads at the perfect timings, which is nice. And you are dead as well. Another soul heart, please. Eh, a nickel. A nickel's pretty good. I'll take it. It, it does, it does kind of make our box of friends a little more useless just because it's a lot harder to use. Got to remember that this guy's going to split and create deathless problems. I don't know if we'll be able to do this. This is just, okay, I should say it's down to luck if they split up or not. We did it. We only got a bomb out of it, but it's better than nothing. And do you know what? I'm even going to try this for a secret room. Ah, uh, I've not really been looking for secret rooms recently, and I probably should be. Okay, three shots for that guy. I've hit one more shot on the dumpy by accident, he dies, but we got it. And there you go, we got shot speed up as well, that's fantastic. Okay, this is probably the room where we really can't do much choosing. In fact, I don't know. It's it's pl oh my god. It's plausible. Nah, nah, it's not. It's not. Oh my god, this is so frustrating. Why has there got to be fast ones left? Go away. Oh my god, stop. Oh, this is infuriating. Okay, good. Please stop it. Oh my god, I did it. That was way too much effort for... Oh, no, no. Okay, it wasn't. It wasn't. I lied. I was going to say it was way too much effort for not enough gain, but do I really want to go through that process again? That was pretty horrible last time. Nah, yeah, I gotta say, let's just let's just destroy this room. I love the poop slick everywhere. It's a really cool item, that. Really cool item. Again, free stat ups in most rooms here. Okay, so this is this is a room where I think we just gotta say hell no. Just because this dude is going to hit us if we don't kill him. I I I I've gotta say. I really am not a huge fan of the design of that enemy. I think it can work on some rooms, but a lot of the rooms I seem to find it in, it feels very, very difficult. Like, it feels like basically if it's with other enemies, it's so difficult. There you go, it hit me there, look. I don't know how much health we're on at the minute. I think we're sitting pretty. Oh my god. But yeah, for, for New Year's for me, at the, at the minute, like I said, the plan is we're just, just going to have some friends over. We're going to drink some, drink some boozes. Drink some boozes and uh, have a nice time. It's going to be a pretty chill. We've only got like five or six people coming over. Candle kit. I remember candle kit being one that's, that can be particularly laggy. So let's hope that that's not the case. Uh, it's going to be a pretty chill one to be honest. But it'll be nice. And like I said, even if I am feeling a little under the weather, it's not going to, it's not going to ruin the evening by any means. Um, so how does this work then? 
Is it, is it just a short amount of damage over time? Okay. Seems like just a damage over time orbital. It's not the best. Definitely not the worst. Yeah, these rooms are basically impossible to keep our thingy going. Uh, it does set enemies on fire as well. I, I, I kind of assumed that would be the case, but it, the fact that it didn't happen those first two times, I was like, maybe it doesn't. But it does actually seem to be working that way. We've got quite a lot of modded items so far. This is kind of uh, intriguing. Oh, no way. That's so cool. I didn't even consider the fact that we'd get uh, duplicated candles. Because they are technically orbitals, or, or familiar, should I say. So it, it works. That's, 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 that's pretty good. That's uh, creating a nice orbital suite for us here. I'm hoping we get a few more modded, um, modded followers to go along with this. That'd be really nice. I don't know why your bombs can destroy your own dips. Kind of silly. Right. Keep moving the... This is going to be kind of a hard one to uh, to destroy the right stuff in. Yeah, there you go. I'm going to say all I've got to do is miss one of the dips and I'm screwed. One of those dips is mine. I was very confused for a moment there. This is a room where I just... Yeah, it's again, it's just not possible, I don't think. I don't think we should even try. I... I still really hate dumpies. I'm just, like, in the default game, I was so glad they were gone. <laughs> I just add them in for variety, though. It's, it's, it's kind of a good thing to have enemies you you maybe dislike in the game. I don't think you, you always have to remove the enemies you dislike. Okay, this is a very awkward room. The death's list mainly. Okay, good. Tap fire in the hell out of you. Sadly, didn't set you on fire, but the poop schlick is down. And we get Binky. A. And we get that as well. Okay, we are sitting pretty right now. We are in a very good spot. Right. Let's go down. I'm, tr I'm trying to think what are we really hoping for here. Tier effects would be quite nice. A few more tier effects would be good. Obviously, more familiars would be really nice. Obviously, more HP as well, but looks like that's a pipe dream. Can't have that. We'll check in here just in case. I don't think I'll end up doing it though. Yeah. For a golden chest, not really worth. It's not like we're going to be able to get Desolist out of it easily or anything, so. This is kind of a hard one for Desolist. Just because these enemies charge you and we set one of them on fire by accident, which could mean he dies a little earlier than intended. No, we got him, we got him. It's in a bit of an awkward spot, but grabbed him. Ah. <sighs> I, basically, I'm, I'm fishing for soul hearts and stat upgrades. Desolus, Desolus is one of those ones where you can fish for them, but it doesn't really work sometimes. Because the stat upgrades are just so inconsistent. I realize you can get, like, damage and fire rate upgrades. But a lot of the time, I feel like I get shot speed and range, which is always, like, a bit disappointing. We'll take a skip card. Why not? In fact, you just didn't care about that skip card at all, did you? Did not care. Hey, holy shit, we got a two damage up. Well, technically we got a one damage up, but the strawberry milk made it into a two damage up. That's that's pretty awesome. Okay, unfortunately, this is a, yeah, I was about to say, these are the worst enemies because those black balls technically do count as enemies for death list. So if you kill them, you get screwed over. But yeah, we got a damage upgrade. That's, uh, that, that's huge, especially when it's a plus two damage upgrade as well. That's like kind of massive. Um, strawberry milk just... Outright doubling our damage is kind of carrying pretty hard right now. Okay, this is another room that I think is just going to be impossible. And um, by the way, I know as well in the last episode, or at least one before that, I was talking about the, the hearts and stuff from Repentance Plus and maybe disabling them. I was thinking about it. I do kind of want to because they do make runs a bit easier sometimes. But at the same time, they are fun and interesting, so I don't really want to. I uh, will grab that. I would like that uh, thingy, the cracked key, if we can manage to keep that They're good um i'm just gonna pop the cracked key in this room if i can there you go cracked key cracked key and then the red rune's always fun we did it we got our red item nice okay that was some bad hits on my part there let's see what we get on our red item room um well we got flip which is a particularly good item we also found a, a giga poop but I think, I think we're better off red ruining both of these. Because flip is good, but it's taking away our active, which I don't really want to do. I've got to admit. So I think we, uh, I think we red rune both of these. And see what, uh, see what flies we end up getting. 
We got quite a few, actually. Nice. Okay. Um... So I don't know what the what the glowing one does. The white one just means that it's a, a default one. It's not got on, like, the modded item doesn't have an effect. But it seems like Flip does have a specific one available to it. So I'm intrigued to find out what that is. Okay, that was a very good tower card, I've got to admit. As much as it goes against our uh, philosophy of trying to uh, get death to list, that was pretty amazing. We have a four room here. Rerolls all pedestal items on the floor. That's a bit of a shame to find that now. Um, would have been better to find that a little earlier. You actually hit me with that. Wow. Um, I guess we just pop it. Yeah, we're still we're still really struggling for that HP. We haven't found an item room this floor though. That's always it's always an exciting prospect in Isaac where you're you're doing well and then you're like, oh, what item did I get this floor? Then you realise you haven't even been to your item room yet, so it's like you've still got more to get. Also, getting hit in this room was pretty bad. Trying to trying to suss out what our fly's doing. It could just be one with altered damage values. It might not be anything super interesting. I'm just trying to see. Oh no, no, it's not. That that sucked. That made that guy into a sucky dude. Made uh, it gave him the suck. That is intriguing. We do like the suck. That's all the poop slick about as well. Okay. How is that not a death list completed? I thought it was only that enemy in there. Oh my lord. Still headache has not gone away yet, unfortunately. I'm still chilling with it, but we don't worry about that. Wow. Okay. We did get a speed upgrade there. That's nice. Uh, and this, we, we also got another speed upgrade. Buying items without money is pretty decent. We have plenty of money right now, so it shouldn't make any difference to our run early on. Oh, that was a really stupid one to fail. Oh my god. Ah, my health is plummeting. My health. It do be plummeting. i got to be very, very careful here. For one, I don't want to lose my... Like, I was just about to say I don't want to lose my devil deals, but I, I really couldn't care less, actually, because I'm not going to be able to afford them, am I? That's kind of obvious. Right. Let's check out a shop. I will take Dreamcatcher just because it gives you a half spirit heart at the start of every floor. Which is pretty Two good. Two of cups, why not? Let's get in here. Oh, we, we've got a de Okay, I think um, Camping Conception procs and we got a demon baby. That's pretty decent. It's not the best, but it's definitely not bad. Okay, good. Beautiful. Oh, really? The worst item you can get. We did, however, get a different trinket, though. What's this? Reduce the size of all enemies by 20%. This affects both sprite and hitbox affects bosses, too. Why would you want that? <laughs> I don't really understand what the deal with that would be. Um, and unfortunately here we have nothing of value. Oh, it's a Christmas pudding. It's kind of cool. Sadly, it's just a rules card in here, though. That's kind of interesting, though. A little Christmas pudding boy. Ah, oh, my God. Missed that. Right, let's go back. Boss room. Second secret room seems reasonably easy to find here. I'm pretty sure it's below this room on this wall. I think. Yeah. Ah. Not really getting what we want, are we? Anyhow, um, let's skedaddle, skedoodle, your dad's a noodle. And jump on off. But yeah, you may be wondering as well, like, tell if you're ill, you have a backlog. Why not just, like, not record? I don't know. Isaac's, like, such a comfort game for me. Like, I, it's... It's, it's one of those games, I think, I think it helps me in a lot of situations. Um, like, where I'm, like, tired, I think it's a good, it's, it's, it's a very good um, wake-up game. It's a, it's a very good game for, um, for helping me sort of, goddamn Dominic. It's a very good game for, for sort of waking me up early in the morning, so if I, like, play it, play a run before work, it often sort of, like, gets the day started in a nice way, but then also, like, if I'm feeling, like, down or if I'm feeling like like I am now where I'm a bit ill. I'm not even ill. I'm just got a headache. But you know what I mean? Um, it, re it really helps. Oh, do that so often. Um, it really helps with um, Ooh, hello. He was. It really helps just, I don't know. It's, it's, so, it's just like a relaxing game to play. And I realize that sounds kind of crazy to some people considering how stressful this game can be. But I do, I do quite, I do find it quite, uh, quite relaxing. Do you know what? I'm going to take a risk here. 
I'm very, very glad I took the risk. <laughs> that has helped me immensely. That has helped me immensely. And we got another red rune here. I do think the, the spike rocks need a bit of tweaking as well. I mentioned that before. Just, I like the fact that they can drop cracked keys and red runes. Just make them drop them way less often. Cracked keys and red runes, especially red runes, are really, really strong. It lets you take an item that you'd otherwise get no value from and turn it into value, which is in... Like, really, really, really good uh, value proposition, considering it costs one bomb. Like, there's no there's no negative. I really do think what another thing they should do, maybe, is make it so that the um, spiked rocks take multiple bombs, or, for, or you somehow have to, have to take damage in order to use them. I don't know how exactly they'd go about doing that, um, but adding, adding an extra associated cost, even if that cost is only one additional bomb, I think would would tilt their balance in a way that that kind of helps the game a lot and just just yeah just makes repentance plus a little less overtuned and the developer does know it's overtuned the developer does know that the uh the mod needs work and like it's not even functionality wise that's the thing like functionality wise the mod is in such a such a good place it's kind of insane how how like good all of the items work and all the integration of everything is it's just it's crazy good it's just, yeah, it's just the fact that, unfortunately, there's some things that just, the balance just feels a bit off. Right, um... Ah, oh, this is gonna be an impossible room, yeah. I thought so. Get away from me, pins. Item room has not been seen yet. Yeah, there, I'm gonna say, another impossible room. Demon Baby's actually making it kind of hard to do Death's List because it also fires. We can't stop it. So that that's a little bit of a problem. But I think I think we're past the point of requiring death to list to carry us now. It's given us a significant speed boost, a little bit of a damage up. It's I think it's all good to be honest. Right, where you at, ghosty boy? Where you at? Is he frozen there? Nope. That's weird. Took a while to, to transport there. Yeah, we're, we're gonna play to death's list if we can. But we no longer require it. I may have been a bit hasty in popping this here. Like, I don't think I really need to do that. And then one last pin. Come on, now. And item room, what do you hold for me? Give me those flies. 100%. <laughs> That's what I mean. Cast I... An item I get absolutely no use out of. I would have just left it in the dust, not even consider it, considered it. But now with the red rune, I can take it and create some wisps out of it. Oh, fly, should I say, uh, locusts. And they're, uh, so they're going to lead to some good damage. They're going to lead to some additional stuff for us, and I think that's really good. I mean, I, I like I said, I love the red rune functionally. I think they're really cool. They're just a bit too common as they are right now. They're so strong. But we're doing okay against uh, against good old blue mom here. How did I get hit there? We're doing decently against good old blue mom. I'm trying to uh, stand in the creep whenever I can to get the bonus stats. Also her foot lands in it, which I think does damage to her. Grab that. Uh, we've not really managed to go to our angel deal here, but I'll take the Polaroid nonetheless. And we're going down to the womb with just pathetic levels of HP, which I feel is going to be our downfall. I think otherwise this run does have the makings of potentially something pretty good, but eh, we 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 need we need quite a few. I'd say we probably need like one more damage up from nah, no way. Need like one more damage up from um, Death List and maybe a few more Soul Hearts to keep me in the running. And obviously, the most obvious of the of the lot of them to not get hit. Um, I think I think if we get hit, it's gonna really really put a damper on pretty much everything. Yeah, like that. Okay. Keep pushing forward. But yeah, I think I think another thing that's really cool about the red rune is taking taking the um taking the the unique ability of a character that is only used on one character. Um 
which is obviously Tainted Apollyon's Abyss, and giving it to the characters. I realise the Abyss item does exist once you've unlocked it, um, and you can use them that way, but having more ways to see these unique things is really cool. It's the same with items that, that utilise Lemmageddon's Wisps um, in, in various effects. There's quite a few items from modding that... Uh, that do various things with Lemmigate and Wisps. And I think that's a really good idea because there's something that really go pretty underutilized considering how much effort has been put into them. Um, like they've got their own sprites and stuff for all the items. Um, I don't know if they were automatically generated or if they were cr custom created, I don't actually know. Um, but it's some it's like a feature that's pretty large that doesn't really get much love. And I'd kind of like to see the same treatment with um, Bethany's Wisps um, from, from just her Book of Virtues. Like, there is definitely certain items out there, like the Jar of Wisps and stuff, that do give you the opportunity to see more of those Wisps, but I don't really feel like it's as it's as prevalent as the Locusts and the Wisps from Lemmageddon. Um, I feel like they could be a bit more apparent. But you see what I mean here? Look, that's another, that's another two of the, another two of these. And another cracked key. They just like show up all the damn time. It's just kind of crazy. Like basically any any time there's a room with spiked rocks, which I feel like in modding, modded rooms like custom room creators tend to use spike rocks a little more often, mainly because they're they're a pretty interesting um, grid grid entity, and they're somewhat underutilized in Repentance. They were a new feature in Repentance, and they they don't get much of a spotlight. They do a little bit in some rooms, but it's not it's not something that you see a lot of. So I think a lot of um, room creators have kind of latched onto the idea of uh, creating a lot more rooms with spiked rocks, especially the dumpy rooms, if you have the dumpy mod enabled. So it kind of leads to a situation where you're seeing spiked rocks pretty much every floor, and therefore seeing, uh, by the way, I did see this here, uh, and therefore seeing the tinted spiked rocks all the damn time. I'm going to pop these again, and there you go, like, look look at this, this is just like the ultimate power that, that you get bespoke upon you when you have... Um, when you have the ability to get these red runes so often. Like, we currently have an amount of wisps that I would say would be a fair amount to get as tainted Apollyon with the Abyss item. Because we've managed to get a red rune three floors in a row and subsequently Abyss an item on said floor. Uh, which is is kind of crazy and it, it just it leads to a little too much power creep and it leads to I wouldn't say easy runs I mean as you can clearly see we are struggling like we are not having a, a, a Completely easy time. We're not just steamrolling the game due to these things, but but It has it has turned this run from what would have been a pretty hefty dumpster fire Into something quite a bit better because of the fact that we're able to um that we're able to get this extra damage out of items that would be giving us no damage at all. And on top of that, some of these some of these um these locusts have unique effects tied to them that can generate us items, that can deal extra damage, that can give us health. There's all sorts of things these these little fellas can do based on uh, the Abyss Plus Plus. And I realize that's um that's not a consideration of the uh Repentance Plus mod pack because Abyss Plus Plus is a mod of its own, and whenever you make a mod pack, you shouldn't have to consider um, how it integrates with other mods. I, I feel like it is a nice thing to do, but it's not required, considering you can't ever guarantee that um, everyone is going to be using this, those two mods together. I don't know how popular Abyss Plus Plus is. I think it's pretty popular. But yeah, so it's just kind of one of those situations where um, it's... It leads to a lot stronger runs potentially and a lot less like sort of useless items because you you could still use them for something in a situation where they probably shouldn't give you the opportunity this run should technically be a lot worse than it is and I do thank the fact that I'm able to get some good stuff and make some better content out of the fact that I'm getting all these cool wisps and stuff it's, it's nice it's not it's not something I'm gonna com super complain about um, like I am complaining about it but I'm not Complaining about it, if you get what I mean. Like, I'm not angry about it. I'm just sort of discussing the sort of inner workings of how how this affects gameplay. 
Uh, and yeah, as I said, it's not really put us in a position where we've got ultimate power and we're, we're absolutely steamrolling the run, but we are doing significantly better than we would be without the uh, spiked rocks giving us three red runes in a row. Uh, I think that's it's, it's, it's pretty strong, really. Undeniably strong. Right. Oh, that would be lovely to go. I don't know if we can do this, but I'm going to try it. Damn it. We are in a pretty bad spot for... Um, Pretty bad spot for this situation. We'll try our best here to stay alive, but the mum fight could end up being the end of us if I play this wrong. The mum fight is always a tricky one just because she fires so many shots and it's visually quite noisy. But we've, uh, we've managed to get through to the next floor. I have to say Cathedral's probably where we'll die. Um, Cathedral does have some very, very frustrating rooms and uh, configurations, especially for the for the like lack of, sort of the thing. With, oh, that was a bit of a shame. That especially for the thing that Lilith has, where uh, her, her shots are kind of lack behind a little bit. Oh, it's kind of rough. I'm trying my best to stay out the way of the fires here, but it's just not working. What I'll probably do is I'll probably bomb some of these blue fires. Oh, this is a pain. Holy hell. Dude, this is this is a nightmare. Because the, the, the blue fires they're creating are blocking shots. Pretty difficult. I'm gonna say we've got to hope for the best here, really. It's not great, but it's something. And we got some enemies like these that I just genuinely don't know what they do, and so I'm scared. God damn, we've got so many keys right now. Don't need any of them either. Okay, this is a room where it's virtually impossible for us to uh, get our deaths list. We also got hit as well, which is fantastic. Okay, we, we've got to bomb these whenever we see them. It's too high value not to. Even at just a 10% chance of a soul heart, this is a bad room. This is the room that we die. This is a really hard room. Okay, we did manage to kill him. I really hope we get HP out at the end of this room. We did, however, get a damage upgrade. That's not really going to see us through, though, I don't think. We really need some health pretty pretty sharpish here. Oh, this is a motherfucker of a room. do not want to give you my space bar item. Please shut up. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that was so close to me getting hit there. Please stop firing at me, turret. Please stop. Please give me a heart. This is so stressful. Oh my god, we got a full heal. Oh, that was so necessary. See, I think I think Rainbow Hearts, they are a, in my opinion, really, really well-balanced addition to the game. They are very, very strong. Like they they can literally save your life as they as it just did, and they can give you invincibility in rooms to play machines or just to help you out in a sticky situation. But I feel like their rarity is exactly right. Like they they show up somewhat often. You see them maybe like once every few runs, but you don't see them enough to the point where they're always helping you out. And on top of that, they're they're only useful if you're in a dire situation. Like. The, the the only other use is using blood banks. Um, otherwise, yeah, they're, they're not that useful. So they've got a good a good sort of power level where they're not too strong, but they are quite strong. Um, you've got to find them in the right situation. Just finding one isn't always enough for it to carry a run. Or, like, save a run, should I say. Um, you've got to either be in a desperate spot where you need the HP or be in a spot where you can trade the HP for other benefits, which... I feel like it doesn't happen every single floor. Like, you, you, it's, it's, you're never at a point where that's always going to be the case. We did manage to actually get through to the chest, which is surprising. I really thought that this floor would be the end of us. Our sort of lot in life here depends on these four chests. These four chests, oh, okay, that's, that's big. That's very huge. Ooh, that's pretty good too. Dead Sea Scrolls isn't so good, but that triple shot, here, plus uh, that huge damage up is kind of nuts for us right now. Oh, God. Yeah, we're doing so much damage. And triple shot, while triple shot lowers our fire rate a lot, it makes it significantly easier to just hit things, which I feel is huge for us. 
Okay, just be careful for the for the cross shots these guys do, and be careful for the jumpies too. These guys do like to jump. I think once they're down to their small size, they can't do the big leaps anyways. Ooh, Golden Bombs is also pretty good for us here. But look at that. We're, we're absolutely crushing it. We've even got some spare HP here. I doubt Desolist is going to come too swiftly for us here. Yes, a lot of spare HP. It's very, very good. Got that in the bank. Yeah, this is Cricket's head plus, plus inner eye there. Basically exactly what we needed. Ooh, and we even got one of these, which is great. Apparently those give you one and a half soul hearts for the cost of one key. Which is a decent benefit. I just wish they didn't replace regular soul hearts. I think they're they're actually a pretty interesting like idea. And they're a little too common as well. I wouldn't say they're super common. We've only seen one this episode, but some other episodes we've seen quite a few. But I, I do think that all of the heart uh, the new hearts are very solid ideas from uh, Repentance Plus. It's just the balancing of them that needs tweaking. But yeah, we have insane damage now. Right. I do think Chucky, uh, not Chucky Milk, Strawberry Milk, sorry, needs a little bit of a balance. Uh, I think that the damage regains too quickly. Like, you literally tap fire, tap fire, tap fire, and you're constantly at max damage. Even if you're tap firing at full fire rate, you basically lose no damage. I think when it dips damage, it should take longer for it, for it to return back to max. So that you don't, basically, if you tap fire, you're just getting double damage for free. I think it shouldn't really be like that. There should be a significant... I won't say significant downside, but there should, there should be a, a, a definite visible downside where even with tap firing, you do have to feather your shots a little more than just tap firing up full fire rate to, uh, to get the full benefit out of the double damage. You do actually have to have some level of tactics to make sure it actually uh, works in your favor to get double damage. Because I think at the minute, it's in a situation where as long as you're okay with tap firing, it is just free double damage, which is kind of insane. As you can see, we're kind of wrecking this floor now. And we got another damage up. Hell yes. That gave us three damage now as well. And yeah, with it being a damage multiplier, not an additive damage bonus, it, it's kind of crazy. It's one of the items that I, I haven't really considered how overpowered it is before, but now that I think about it, it is actually very overpowered. Oh, we've got a third Incubus at some point. Nice. Right, I might go back and do an extra room just so we have a charge for our boss here. There we go. Yeah, let's go back and do one more room over this way. Just so we've got a charge for our boss. I don't think we need it, but it's good to have it. Good, good. Right, away we go. I don't think I'll bother doing uh, Delirium if we get it. I think, for one, like I said, this is just a chill run anyways. But for two, we're not really in the position health-wise health -wise to make that work anyways. Look at that. Look at that. The holy poop saves the day. Beautiful stuff. There you go. Hope you guys enjoy this very fun little episode there. It makes me feel much, much better. I'm actually feeling great now. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.